I think music is, and art in general, is essential for us to survive these difficult times um, where people are very much lost their values and uh, lost one of the most important values, which is ethics. And <clears throat> the um, compassion and the um, consciousness about ourselves and the needs of the others. So I think um, we lost also the view over the injustice of the world. And this is very serious problem for each child, each young person that has a virtual idea of the world and instead of having a real one. The reality is not something that is important anymore. So it, I think this is a serious problem nowadays. And I believe very strongly that music should be introduced in schools in, in, in all the education since the beginning of human life and but should also be introduced not for the interest of of some people but the interest of everybody so and uh, music if it's real music and true music is um, is better than any medicine and then any other um, I mean, not any other solutions, but it has to be together and has to belong to people's lives and every day's life. And not only for the people who assist to concerts and not for the privilege of people who are privileged to go to concerts and pay tickets, but for everybody. And not only doesn't belong to the musicians' music, it belongs to, to the humanity. And I think this is the most important thing to remember. Chopin is a genius. Is a is a um, um, how do you say a, a, a human being of enlightenment. So he's as he had the in, in most incredible vision in terms of art and music. But I think Chopin was born and other composers in a moment where they got the message that prepared the romantic, the, the romantic period. And I think even Mozart already prepared the, the romantic period, not talking about Beethoven and, and all the classics. The, the great composers they gave is like putting the seeds for the next period and for the moving and for the the change and for for everything that I think the change is always prepared from the people before us and we just have to be aware of it and just listening listen to it or see it or understand it and then the next period will come of change that's why it's very important to be aware and I think great genius like Chopin, they were aware of the message from, from the period before. I think that's what we call transmission. The transmission is what we tell each other and what goes from one to the other and the, the change in style, in, in, in message, the change in the humanity, the changes uh, happen because there is a transmission and that transmission happens all the time. My feeling is that music is always hope because it connects us to the universe and connects us to the uh, to the truth, to our truth, to our origins, to our soul. So it's, it's the connection that gives us hope. But some composers did it in a very strong way so that you feel that hope. 
um, that you feel it strongly like Beethoven. But Beethoven at the same time gives you hope, but gives you the, 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 the need of fighting, fighting for truth, fighting for, for soul, fighting for, for the good, for our best parts, what connects us to, to something really spiritual. And I think um, Beethoven did it through fight, while Schubert does it through peaceful acceptation, in a way, but gives also this wonderful hope through, through the simplicity and the, this wonderful quality for humans who is accepting, accepting pain, accepting uh, real life as it is, and this is and less in a fighting way. So both uh, have this um, common, I think, common, in, with different um, expressions, with different, very different ways of expressing it, but both do it. And I think music in general exceeds, gives us the door to to that hope or that acceptation or that connecting and that's very important. I don't I don't see it is looking for the truth or it is a, something artificial. I think it's very natural for us to make that experience, the experience of looking how it was. And uh, this gives us more some certain uh, information, which can be very important. For me, it's a great experience because I understood two years ago, I tried for the first time. This is the second time. And I understood something very important for me is that, that with the modern piano, which I don't like so much modern pianos, I think they are very material, so you you fight a lot for for the um, you fight a lot. Um, I don't have the right word, but um, sublimating. Do you say that word? No, no, it doesn't exist. How do you get out of the material world? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, the modern pianos are heavy. They, it's difficult to sing. It's difficult to transform them in pure music. Um, but they have a sound that can seduce a lot. A seducing sound, the modern pianos. Those old pianos, they don't have a seducing sound. They just have um, kind of a dry sound, you know, it's not... So it's very nice, the feeling of you cannot seduce anymore. You just have to find a pure way of... You don't have to show anything. You have nothing to show. It's just the music there. And your, your connection to the conductor, to the musicians, to the, to the orchestra, and to yourself and to the music. So there is nothing towards the public, you know. It's, and this is very nice. I always fight for that feeling because when I'm playing in concert, I, I don't feel I have to please the people. I think I have to love the people. I have to be with them. We have to be together enjoying the music. And I always I always fight for that, but the modern pianos don't help you in that. They help you to show something, which is wrong. So I, I like this experience. 